what made you want to write the anxiety workbook for supporting teens who learn differently? Okay, so part of the reason that this book actually got written was because I was looking as a speech and language therapist and behavior, cognitive behavior therapist, I was looking for a book of ideas. I was looking for something I could use to work with young people, regardless of any diagnosis or for those who had no kind of diagnosis, but who were struggling. And so off I went looking for this magical resource and I couldn't find one. I could find lots of things that were just for anxiety. I could find lots of things for ADHD, autism, specific learning difficulties. But there wasn't anything that really pulled it together. And so from my perspective, I'd been working for a while on pulling together a, a lot of different threads of research. There was a recognition that the SEN landscape was becoming increasingly sort of complex and fragmented um, with this whole sort of tidal wave of acronyms that practitioners were being exposed to that seemed to be increasing exponentially and this pressure then on school staff to become experts in each one of those areas and as Claire was saying what you then had was also expertise and knowledge becoming sort of siloed in those areas so you would have specific uh, training or support or, or outreach support for autism specific support for ADHD specific support um, for children and young people with uh, social emotional mental health needs. And from my perspective, a lot of the advice that I was giving um, was similar across all of these different areas because the needs that children and young people were having, when you looked at this kind of underlying factor, looked at this kind of universal perspective, uh, were relatively um, similar. 